नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल इंसिडेंटली नाउ डेज आई एम गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज पॉसिबली अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग अराउंड दिस टुडे येट अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी द चीफ जस्टिस कॉल्स द अटॉर्नी जनरल ऑफ इंडिया एंड सेज क्या कर रहा है आपका गवर्नर भाई वॉट इज योर गवर्नर डूइंग द गवर्नर इज रेफरिंग टू इज मिस्टर आर एंड रवि वेल लाइक आई सेड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लेट्स गेट इन टू दिस शो ओके सो देर वॉज दिस फॉर्मर मिनिस्टर ऑफ डी एम के कॉल्ड मिस्टर के पुनमुडी के पुनमुडी was there was an allegation of disproportionate asset against him so uh, there was investigation now the dmk government went up to the supreme court supreme court stayed the investigation stayed the case and reinstated mr punmudi as mla acha now when the supreme court reinstated mr punmudi as mla because he was removed when the investigation was on uh, uh, disproportionate asset so when he was reinstated as mla uh, dmk went out and told uh, mr r n ravi the governor of uh, tamil nadu ke bhai get him back make him a minister ho gaya na he is back he is an mla now r n ravi said nahi banata ja nahi karega i am not going to do it are dmk went to supreme court saying that are baba you in reinstated him and now he is not been allowed to be a minister to which chandra chud was surprised he said are what is happening in fact what he said is he said mr attorney general that is what he was referring to he was talking to uh, mr venkat ramani uh, who is the attorney general of india by the way mr attorney general what is your governor doing the conviction has been stayed by the supreme court and the governor says he won't swear him in we will have to make some serious observation please tell your governor we are going to take serious view of it the court said we will take some serious observation are kya ye we give a verdict we give a we give a judgment and your governor doesn't care about it what is wrong with you guys in fact the chief justice went on to say that is that how can governor say that after the supreme court stayed his conviction his reinduction as a minister will be against constitutional morality this is what the chief justice said are we said no we have reinstated him what do you mean it is against constitutional morality we decided no we said no what is wrong with your uh, governor i also think baba what is wrong with the governor when the chief justice is saying it you see he went on to say mr ag we are seriously concerned about the conduct of the governor in this issue we did not want to say it out loud in the court but you are now constraining us to say it aloud this is not the way he is defining the supreme court of india when two judge bench of the supreme court stays a conviction the governor has no business to tell us that this does not wipe off the conviction and that it is non existent that means that those who have advised him have not advised him correctly in accordance with law now the governor better be informed that when the supreme court of india stays a conviction the law has to follow course in fact he said we will keep tomorrow we will leave to the governor till tomorrow otherwise the cji must have got seriously seriously peeved off with what happened he says possibly the people who advised your governor advised him wrong now see there is another very interesting aspect of it you see the fact that you don't know law doesn't entitle you to breach the law when a supreme court has made a judgment he has reinstated the supreme court a two bench justice has reinstated the mla the mla is reinstated how can the governor say that wo morally mere ko correct nahi lagta hai i don't think it is right morally i don't know how, can, how what what are we talking about and this is the are the steps that have been taken by a lot of governors and a lot of constitutional authority in our country 
steps which are undermining the judiciary steps which actually is now undermining law steps which are now undermining the process of our constitution and the process in which our country works why i say this you saw what happened in uh, in uh, maharashtra the supreme court kept on asking the the speaker of the house of maharashtra to take a decision on the on the disqualification of 16 mlas and it went on dragging and dragging and dragging and dragging and dragging till such time that now when the decision was taken it was and the decision of course was for eknath uh, shinde sena or whatever the shiva sena uh, the even then the decision was too late for anything to be done by anybody so the fact remains that somewhere down the line speakers of the house constitutional bodies like i told you speakers and and governors i mean they are almost taking the the court to be a joke and all of a sudden the chief justice of india which i am very glad is now acting and talking this is something that i i'm seeing at a, as a very welcome sign because normally there were only observations now it is followed up by action which we saw in the electoral bonds so somewhere down the line it's a very welcome sign so when something good happens we say something good happens when something good doesn't happen and only talk happens we also come and report to you that only talk is happening nothing good is happening so this is one case which i wanted to get your notice this uh, governor better act and this governor better understand that there are laws just because he's been made a governor that doesn't mean he is the king of the state or that doesn't mean he is above every law that doesn't mean that no law nothing democracy you know voting shooting and all which we do vote gate and all doesn't matter i am governor everything okay with me ye sab nahi chalta that's something that he better realizes and the cji in no uncertain terms has made it clear to him now see let's see what he does now i want to before i close i want to discuss one more issue with you which is a very interesting issue you see there was this additional session judge of bareilly ravi kumar divakar so judge ravi kumar divakar is a very uh, is very enamored or very happy with the fact that mr yogi adityanath is the chief minister of uh, uttar pradesh he is very happy about that is what one feels one understands okay i'll tell you why he i say this I say this because um, you know this uh, judge of Bareilly called Ravi Kumar Divakar. He said that the main reason for riots in India is that political parties of the country are engaged in appeasement of a particular religion. Appeasement of a particular religion. I presume he is speaking about appeasement of Muslims. Judge, judge, judge. So there. Apart from that, he also likened CM Adityanath to the idea of a philosopher king. as outlined by plato in uh, his socratic dialogue he likened yogi adityanath to that of a philosopher king so a constitutional judge judge appointed by the collegium and uh, the person who is supposed to guard our constitution calls a chief minister a philosopher king that was a statement and he went on to say that the head of power should be a religious person because the life of a religious person is not one of enjoyment but of sacrifice and dedication the example of this is the pita deshwar of the great siddhapeet goraknath temple mahant baba shri yogi adityanath ji who is currently chief minister of uttar pradesh and has proven the above concept to be true stated additional district judge fast track court bareilly ravi kumar divakar and this incidentally the alabat i court on tuesday expunged the remark made by this uh, additional session bench bench saying that baba listen you know what this is unwarranted remark and containing political overtones and personal views a bench of justice ram manohar narayan mishra observed it that it is not expected from a judicial officer to express his uh, depicts his personal or preconceived notions for inclinations in the matter the judge says that you see the problem of riots is because of one particular community because people are appeasing one particular community which i like i said it is muslim could be muslim pavan that's what it indicates to to at least to my knowledge my understanding 
And secondly, uh, he says, you know, our chief minister is philosopher king. He says, and he 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 describes the chief minister with his his official and his religious designations, and says that look how how true it is proven that a religious person should be made the king or the leader, the chief minister. I want to ask you two questions before I end my show. Number one is, do you think that a leader has got anything to do with religion? Which means that if a person is religious, he proves to be a good leader or if a person is religious, he doesn't prove to be a good leader also. Has leadership running a state anything to do with religion? Number one question. Number two question, a judge, a person who is supposed to guard the constitution addresses a chief minister as philosopher king. King. Is that fair? Just by expunging that uh, statement, is everything over? That's the point. I will leave you with that's the thought I will leave you with. Write down your comments. Uh, let me know what you feel. Till I see you next time. Namaskar. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shorts in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.